Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start off just with the Depay review for now because we obviously want to watch the Portugal game, right? So with Depay, uh, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'9", high low work rates, right footed, 5 star skills, 3 star weak foot. Uh, the Dutch guys are definitely going to be all over this card, 100%. Giving you those light, nice little triple link setups to uh, De Jong is definitely going to be a big thing that people are going to want to work with for sure. Uh, but this card in game when it comes to player traits, he has the outside foot shots. He has the flare traits, playmaker, technical dribbler, long shots, taker. So a couple of interesting things here and there. In game attributes. The card is uh, it's the same situation as Ferran Torres. Ferran Torres uh is not going to get the upgrade because morocco actually ended up winning uh their knockout game interestingly enough buffal is going to get upgraded which is pretty cool because the card apparently is actually pretty decent to work with right so uh with the pie in game ziesh is actually going to get upgraded too uh with the pie in game we're gonna give him an engine i mean we have to right it's a, it's a, the type of card where you have to kind of hope that they improve that well uh, actually it might have to be a finisher chemistry style flex because the agility, balance, and dribbling of the card is formatted poorly. EA, your showdown cards are very sus. I'm just gonna really like point that out there. But hey, that's just that's just me, you know. Because guys, even if these cards get upgraded, they need like like this card needs really big improvements in dribbling, pace, base card stats for shooting, passing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Anyways. This card in game, we're going to be trying him out on the engine again with the outside foot shot traits, high low work rates that he's working with. A couple of interesting things right there. Uh, dribbling on the card uh, is not necessarily in the best area, but he is a unique body type with a five foot nine height. So we're going to experiment with that in game. Uh, defensive capabilities, he has none. And then for physical, uh, he has an 80 for stamina. So probably a card you mainly want to use through the middle because of the high low work rates, but you could potentially use him in the sides if you don't mind working with the high low work rates. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and unlock this SBC, and I'll show you guys how we line them up in-game. Okay, guys, so uh, obviously for the sake of the review, uh, we're going to be giving him a Hunter Chemistry style to start off with because he does have a unique body type, so I actually want to see how that kind of performs like in-game. Uh, definitely should be very, very interesting to check out. In-game, we're going to be using the uh, 4 2 3, one formation that I recently reviewed, just the video before this one, so if you want to go check it out. Be sure to do so. Uh, we're going to line up like this. Yeah. Striker position. We'll just keep him on stay forward. And we'll see how he plays there. So, yeah. Let's see what he's like, man. Hopefully, he is a beast. Oh, should have dragged it on the inside there. His initial drill before wasn't actually that bad. It was pretty decent. Ooh, the scoop turn. Oh, I red timed that. His animation to shoot the ball is like kind of slow there, but his high low work rates right away being super noticeable on the card. There we go. That's what I was looking for. You have to like, you have to see what the initial animations are like, and then you know when to time it, you know? Oh! Oh, dude, I literally slide tackled and it switched my player. That's so funny. His finesse shots are actually coming off nicely, to be fair. Yeah, even that one was really good, too. It was, like, really direct, even on a white. So I tried to make the pass to him there. Didn't work out. But you can clearly see that his high-low work rates are consistently activated on the card, like, all the time. Yeah, so... The, here's the thing, right? His unique body type is actually really good, right? But he definitely needs that dribbling boost for base card stats so you can just give him that Hunter Chemistry style initially, you know? I 
That works. Depay makes the run upwards, opens up the space for Bernardo Silva. We score. Too much? It was just perfect. Timed his run perfectly as well. That was great. The chip shot came off really nicely. Yeah, so that's uh, obviously with the weak foot. There's going to be an inconsistency to it. I tried a green time. I just couldn't get it off. Woo! That would have been nice if we scored that, though. Oh, man. Did well there, though, man. I, I want that dribbling boost really badly, because honestly, this card actually has, like, really good base stuff. The attacking AI is great. Like, you could see the high-low work rates working consistently and in really good ways as well, right? Like, once I get into certain positions, he makes really good runs. Um, the skill moves is nice to work with. It's just the dribbling boost. You need that for sure. That works. Oh, he was too far down for the Elastico to work on the L1 there. I don't know what just happened right there. Got him. Imagine. Oh, good effort. Woo, there it is. There it is. Good stuff, good stuff. Red time, then I still hit it like that. Not bad. Oof. Good outside foot, but that's a horrible angle to hit it from. That's the right angle to hit it from, but that's not the looped shot. It's the touch that he came off of. Nice chip again. Well weighted, very sharp stuff. White time shot, and he still hits it nicely. You have to be very careful how you hold your dash button when you're close to the 18 yard box, because if you keep holding it and they push their goalkeeper, your player will do that extra touch. So you don't know if your player will do a slow touch or a fast touch from that last one. But it's something that you have to do because it's just a mechanic in FIFA that makes them uh, always do a horrible touch at the end there. What a block. What? Ah. I tried to do that skill move initially and it didn't come off. I did it like a different skill move or something. Ah, the weak foot. Maybe with a better weak foot, maybe a higher shooting stats. All depends, you know. It's not impossible to hit, it's just a lower percentage. That works. That works.
Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Got to get on the inside a little bit more there. Nice finish. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Depay card. So this is a very strange situation, okay? Because here's what I'm going to say. When it comes to the dribbling capabilities of the card, you want it to be improved, okay? You definitely want it to be improved in regards to the agility, balance, and dribbling on the card uh, because it's just very important to uh, just how the game kind of is, right? That's why I was looking at the finisher chemistry style for the dribbling boost, the engine chemistry style for the dribbling boost. My hopes for a card like this, to be honest with you guys, um, is that if he does get that upgrade in the future, you give him the engine and then he performs really well in game. Because here's the thing, the engine is going to be boosting the dribbling, balance, and agility of the card, but you give him the pace to work with the high-low work rate and you give him the passing. The shooting, however, would have to be massively improved. Here's the thing, though, to be able to utilize his high-low work rates as much as possible because of the huge like pace thing in this game nowadays, the Hunter chemistry style allows him to make really, really good runs because look at how the card is still formatted on a Hunter. If they give him plus fours and fives in those certain areas for pace and shooting, it's going to be set up very nicely. The only thing that's going to be off in general on the card is going to be the dribbling capabilities, right? But it's like I always tell you guys, right? When you have the five-star skills, it doesn't bother you that much. And obviously, this is a showdown card that you have to hope, you know, hope for it to get the upgrade. I, I always personally believe that whatever upgrade they get is what the card should initially be. And then it should be upgraded after that because it's the World Cup EA. But um, with a card like this, a couple of things that are good on him. Uh, his unique body type, it compensates really well for the card. If they do any sort of card in the future where he has like above 90s for dribbling stats and a four-star weak foot, he'll be pretty nuts. Uh, his shooting comes off really nicely for the most part. Obviously, if you're on a three-star weak foot, it'll be inconsistent from certain positions, obviously. Uh, but his high-low work rate attacking AI-wise is fantastic to work with, right? If you're using that through the middle positions or, you know, you're playing like a 4-3-3 setup where you want a more aggressive winger, this is going to be the most ideal type of card to have. Like for me personally, this card feels more enjoyable to use than the Ferran Torres showdown card, right? So take that into consideration. Again, with cards like this, guys, it's all about the potential upgrades that they can get. Obviously, with this being the only Depay card uh, in the game compared to his uh, rare gold version, which is a plus one plus two difference. The main purpose of getting this card is obviously to improve from what the card was before, as well as potentially getting a nice card in the future. It just depends on how they format him in the future, either on that engine or on that hunter. But he has the right base stuff. The body type is good. The shooting is good. The pace with the work rates is good. But he needs those improvements for him to be even better. But generally speaking, the SBC is not as big of an L as I thought, but... Me, personally, I think they should upgrade the showdown cards way more before they even get the upgrade. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. Wish me luck for the Portugal game.